Hi friends, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to perform SQL injection at medium level on this uh, damn vulnerable web application and uh, we will be doing so by bypassing a function in PHP called MySQL real escape string. So basically um, what happens is developers most of the time write uh, SQL queries like these, like this one and what we have is a uh, query and then uh, to sanitize the inputs to make the hackers not to perform SQL injections the developers do use this function mysql real escape string but uh, this function is uh, not completely enough to stop SQL injection and uh, we will be doing the SQL injection against this function so I'll be showing you that uh, this function alone is not capable of preventing SQL injection. So let's just try uh, to figure out uh, what uh, and how our uh, application behaves and then we'll try to figure out how to bypass this uh, function. So mm, the functionality is quite simple. Uh, if we enter a user ID we get uh, the first name and uh, the surname corresponding to that user id so if we type in one we get admin and admin if we type in two we get uh, gordon and bone and so on so if we try some sql uh, so if we try with single code or double code or some sql payloads let's see what happens Okay, so it throws uh, an SQL error saying uh, here it is. It is saying there is a, a syntax error near this. So what basically what we typed was um, what we typed was this one, and that's uh, a fair enough. Uh, SQL injection payload and that's commonly used so when we try to do this uh, this uh, probably might get stored in some variable let's say a variable ID so basically the basically the um, application is uh, storing this uh, payload in some variable and then it is using this uh, function my mysql real escape string and that function is a uh, what this function is doing is escaping all the special characters which are used in um, sql queries like this single quote or double quote or whatever way which is used in um, sql queries so our query was uh, similar to this so basically uh, on the background what's happening is uh, it is taking uh, the ID of the user and then performing a SQL query like this select uh, first name last name from users and probably users is a table uh, in the database and we don't know actually what the table name actually is so I'm just assuming that uh, this might be the query so we get uh, uh, we are selecting the first name and last name from some table uh, i named it at user and uh, where user id is uh, some id and uh, then we are uh, um, just passing this uh, query to this that means um, if we entered in the payload or one equal to one uh, let's say this is the payload we entered so this will get into this will become something like this and that is because of uh, this mysql real escape string function so basically uh, we are not able to perform sql injection because of this so if we try other payloads like double quote we again get the same error and that is because uh, it is escaped by this uh, backward slash so how can we bypass it actually there are several methods of doing so uh, why don't we try 
sub selects and if i do this uh, the query will become something like uh, Okay, so our query is now like this and when we pass in the payload double quote uh, this query becomes like this and when it is gone through this php mysql real escape string function it becomes like this so basically the payload becomes this and that's why we get error we are not able to um, we are not able to close this code that means uh, we are not able to inject any SQL queries but uh, there are a lot of methods of uh, bypassing it and I'm gonna show you two of them for now and the very first one I'm going to show you is something called subselect and basically what subselect is in uh, SQL uh, injection we have a uh, SQL query embedded within a uh, an SQL query so basically what I mean to say is we have this full SQL query and I'm gonna make another SQL query in embedded inside this something like this one so we have two SQL queries in a single big query and what how this will work is uh, first this sub query will be evaluated and as we see it's just selecting one that means uh, it will that means it will give us a, a constant character and that is one and this will be by this will be passed as the id for the user and that means if we do this and we get uh, uh, the credentials of uh, a user whose id is one that means uh, this is working so let's just try and okay if we do this uh, we got one and it is passed as a user id and we got the first name and the surname corresponding to that now let's just try another one select 2 and uh, let's see if it works okay for 2 we got uh, um, credentials for the user having user id 2 and let's just verify it and that's the verification so that means we are able to inject our sql queries by some by using something called subselect and uh, i'll be covering more of it in um, blind sql injection when we'll be doing a medium level of blind sql injection because uh, mm, this is quite uh, difficult to enumerate and uh, we have to do some brute forcing of uh, table names and uh, column names to identify whether they exist or not so there is a uh, an easy technique for enumerating when we are having the output of it when we are getting the error from the database uh, it's becomes quite it becomes quite easy to enumerate it and uh, we'll be using something called uh, unhex and this function will be very helpful for us to bypass this uh, single quote string so basically this function works in the way that it detects all the special characters and removes it but if we try to use this function and hex this will dynamically generate a single code and that's why this uh, function will not be able to stop it and uh, escape it so how it works is uh, we just uh, pass in a hexadecimal uh, number uh, corresponding to an ascii value and uh, this function makes uh, makes it um, converts it to the 
sky value and what do i mean is if we try to figure out okay let's just try to figure out the hexadecimal number corresponding to single quote and there it is we have a single quote and the hexadecimal corresponding to it is 27 here you see hex that means uh, if we pass in 27 to this function and hex it will convert it to single quote and because this is passed in as a payload it will get into this function and when the function checks this it says okay there is no special character in it and it will simply let it go and when it is gone to the SQL query and is this function is then went to this SQL query and it will dynamically generate the single code that means we'll be able to inject a single code here and then we can write our query whatever we can write and we'll get the success so let's just try to do it let's just go and do this unhex 27 and we didn't get an error that means we are able to do this so i'll try some more payload here to see if it actually works and that's it it's working so what basically happened is i'll tell you once more so we basically passed in this thing as the id parameter and then this php real escape string function that took this id variable and uh, checks for if it contains any special characters like single quote double quote and uh, just escapes them so if we pass in this payload unhex 27 or 1 equal 1 then it checks for whether there are some special characters which are used in sql queries are there in it or not and if it, if they are there it will just escape them and there is no any special character here so it will just let it go and then it will go to here and it will be here so basically now the sql query will have uh, this uh, user id as a payload and uh, when it is executed this unhex 27 it will become a single code that means the query becomes something like this and now we are able to bypass or close this uh, starting single code and that's why we are able to inject uh, our query so if we try something more like or 1 equal 0 union select and we know the query is returning two, two columns as we did in previous our easy level so we will not go to tell everything how did we enumerate the user database but uh, you can watch the low level to to basically understand how SQL injection can be performed manually and uh, you can learn a lot from there so I'm just going to do it quite faster We are just going to print in the table names and again the error that's because I didn't use this function 
and there it is these are the all the table names which we have and in the similar way if we want to print the password we can do it so by using a query like by using a query like on hex 27 or I'll make it 1 equal to 0 so that I have a good printout on the screen and I won't have these all things And we did determine that there are two columns user ID and password and last name and first name there was few columns in the table users and we did it in um, low level so if you haven't watched it uh, you can watch it and uh, may have figured out how did we enumerate the entire database so just do it in a quick Word from table users and that's it this is the payload we want to execute and here it is for the user id 1 which was admin the password is this for the user id 2 the password is this and we have 5 users we have the password of all of them so that's it for this video in the next or in the successive videos i'll be showing you how to use that sub select to enumerate the database and we will be doing in the we'll be doing it in the sql injection blind so that's it for this video i hope you like it please subscribe to my channel at myrlgost and if you have any feedback please feel free to comment below and uh, share this video.